In problem number 41 of section 3.7, we're given a disk centered at the origin of radius 5 with density function that is uh, constant for each value that's a fixed distance from the origin. So in other words, the distance or the density is um, only a function of the distance from the origin. And we're asked to find the mass of uh, this disk. And we can use the formula that we're given uh, in the previous problem, which says that mass is equal to 2 pi times, times the integral from r naught to r1 of r times the density of r dr. Now, r naught and r1 mean the inner and outer radius. So we were given an annulus, which is a disk with kind of a smaller disk removed from the center. Then r naught would be the inner radius, r1 is the outer radius. Uh, for us, the inner, since we're just talking about a solid disk, the inner radius is just going to be zero. So mass is going to equal 2 pi times the integral from zero to the outer radius, which is 5, of r times density function, um, at, or density as a function of r. That's r plus 2 over r plus 1 dr. And this simplifies to 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 5 of r squared plus 2r over r plus 1 dr. Now in order to evaluate this integral a little bit more easily, we can just use uh, long division for polynomials. And so we want to divide um, r squared plus 2r by r plus 1. So r goes into r squared r times. r times r is r squared. R, um, and of course, we want to subtract this term, so we put in a minus sign. r times 1 is r. We subtract that. And uh, we get 0 and r. Now, R goes into R now um, one time. So here we get 1 times R plus 1 is R plus 1, but we want to subtract, so we have minus R minus 1. And that gives us a remainder of minus 1 over R plus 1. So we can reduce this to, or simplify this to 2 pi times the integral from 0 to, zero to 5 of r plus 1 plus, or excuse me, minus 1 over r plus 1. And the integral of the first two terms is just, uh, well, let's see. r squared plus r, evaluate from 0 to 5, and subtract the integral uh, from of um, 1 over r plus 1. So we're just subtracting natural log of r plus 1, and evaluating that from 0 to 5. So this is equal to 2 pi times uh, we have 25 plus 5, so 30, minus natural log of 6, minus natural log of 1. But natural log of 1 is just 0. So we're left with 2 pi times 30 minus natural log of 6.